It was a struggle to climb above zero today. We had wind chills in the morning to start off in the 30s below. Winter's back for the first day of February. But again, it still doesn't look like it, and I'm starting to get very <laughs> disappointed in that. <laughs> right, you know, you look outside, you see bare ground and sunshine. You make It makes you think that it's not too bad outside, but it's certainly cold and no snow. Just dry and cold out there for today. And taking a peek at our temperatures right now, we're at 2 below in Fargo with a dew point of 12 below. Uh, clear skies for us with wind out of the south southeast at about three miles per hour. As I look up toward the north and Grand Forks, five below there, and uh, it feels like reading or temperature of 18 below. Winds out of the south at six miles per hour. Here's a look at our current temperatures. We're at two below in Valley City, over toward Jamestown, three below there, and a zero degree reading in Wapaton. That's the warmest spot. We've dipped down to ten below in Bemidji right now, and nine below in Thief River Falls. It is cold uh, for us for tonight. If you're going to be stepping out the door, maybe you're just now getting ready to head home from your uh, Super Bowl party. Make sure you bundle up. Make sure you warm up that card too. Wind is on the lighter side. That's the good news. We don't have any. Wind chill advisories out there tonight. It's just cold, uh, but there are some places where we're feeling it a little bit more. 24 below is the wind chill in Roseau, and 23 below in Thief River Falls, 15 below in Jamestown, the current wind chill there. Looking at our radar, nice and quiet, clear skies here too. And as we look off to the east, there's that massive storm still impacting the Chicago area, stretching up through the Detroit region, but really the bulk of it pushing off to the east toward New England, where they got that heavy snow earlier with that nor'easter. So they're getting another dose of some heavy snow for those folks there. Here, still quiet, we're clear. And in fact, tonight, there's a chance we may see a little northern light activity with clear skies out there for tonight. So let us know if you see it. Post it on our Facebook page. And if you're able to grab a shot, of course, we'd love to see that too. Through the overnight hours, those temperatures again continuing to dip their way down uh, into the double digits below zero in some places in northwest Minnesota, especially along Lake of the Woods. A little farther south, not as bad. And as we move through the overnight hours, they'll actually level off or even start to rise by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Thanks to a nice southerly breeze helping to warm things up for us a bit uh, throughout the overnight hours. So tomorrow morning waking up above zero in a couple of spots to start off our day with sunshine too uh, to start off as well. And of course we know that February 2nd is Groundhog Day. With sun, if the groundhog sees its shadow, then that would mean six more weeks of winter. But we already know we're going to be seeing that here in the upper Midwest. We are pretty much guaranteed that with cloud cover for the afternoon hours. Uh, by lunchtime, we'll see mostly cloudy skies and temperatures rising back into the teens above zero. So much warmer than today. And even some upper teens getting close to 20 in southeastern parts of North Dakota. A little cooler the farther north you get. But it is an improvement uh, with those upper teens for many of us. Maybe a flake or two with those clouds that pass by. Can't rule that out, but mostly just some cloud cover uh, moving through for the day. We quickly dip back down below zero in the Northern Valley late tomorrow night, thanks to some clearing happening there. So for Monday, again for Groundhog Day, a high of 19 degrees for Tuesday. Cooling down just a little bit will be mostly cloudy with a slight chance for snow, but right now that does not look impressive. Wednesday will be our coldest day with 10 degrees our high and then back into the 20s. And our best chance for snow coming up is on Saturday, late Friday night and into Saturday, maybe even lingering into Sunday, a chance for maybe some measurable snow coming <laughs> up. It looks pretty good that we're going to at least see some. It's just a matter of how much. And 20 degrees, that's tolerable. Tolerable snow and <laughs> temperatures that aren't too bad. I think that's a winner a lot of people want to see. Thank